it's Anne from The Useless Crafter and today we're going to make 3D flowers and make a fun envelope that's perfect to just say hi or sit on top of a beautifully wrapped gift. I love this project because it doesn't matter what tools or template you use and every crafter is going to have the supplies that can make this. For the paper I use the Basil Basics assorted 100 sheets. They're 80 pound paper and so they're still going to be flexible enough to roll. I do not recommend going any higher than 80 pound paper though. And I just can't resist this pack with all the colors. <laughs> As for the tools, the only thing you will need besides the cardstock is a glue gun. So once we roll the flowers, we will use the glue gun to keep it in place. You can use any flower template. I've seen so many available for downloads. The ones I'm using today are from Cricut's Design Space. But the basic anatomy will be the same. You'll see them in a spiral, usually with a circle in the middle. And you'll roll from the outside to in and then glue to the center circle. And then we're gonna go extra and use some embossing powder with some stamps. If you've never used this, I absolutely love it. It gives it that finished, almost foil-like look. Um, if you don't have this, you could just use stamps with a regular stamp pad and regular markers or just go with the flowers. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this is the one that I made so far. I haven't glued down the flowers, but I wanna show you, hopefully you can kinda of see, I'm looking at the screen to see, um, that texture that you get from the embossing powder. So you do need a heat gun because you put you pour the powder down and then um, you're gonna heat it up and it, it melts the powder and it gives it this beautiful finished look. Okay, so I'm gonna move this aside. I'm gonna show you a few flowers today and you can see it here. I brought flowers from my garden just so that you could see the petals a little bit, how they just have that natural curve, right? So this is the flower that I absolutely love, and this is the one with the extra petals. So it's gonna be a little bit different. It starts out the same as all the others with the spiral, but then we're gonna add and be extra and add the petals. So, I mean, it's just amazing to me that this is paper, right? Because it has the, it opens up, it has the shape. I think it's just beautiful. All right, so let's do with the easy ones first. Now with all of these, you can use, I've seen people use tweezers to get started um, or just use their hands. So you start rolling it in. I prefer the foiling quill. Um, it's a quill tool, so I'm sorry. <laughs> and um, I just, one, it's so cheap. You can get it on Amazon, it's a few dollars. And um, I like to try foiling as well, so that's why. But there's a little slit in the middle and you stick it the paper inside and it just helps you start to roll it so I'm gonna roll it from the outside in and I try to keep my finger over here or sometimes I'll keep my thumb up here it's just so that it doesn't unravel um, and also because the paper it's paper <laughs> so um, it can be a little stiff at first so I like having that pressure there to help it keep its shape and to roll in. So here we go. So I already have my glue gun plugged in, so make sure that your glue gun is ready to go as well. Now with all flowers, I'm gonna show you in a second, but can you see behind me that Frida, she is 30 inches and she has all rolled flowers in her hair. So it's just, it can be so beautiful when you have so many of them. All right, so I am done. I pulled out my quilling tool and you can see here's my circle. So I always like to put a little bit of glue on here, on the actual flower, the rolled area, and then also I'll dab a little bit in the circle. So I'm gonna flip it over and you still have some room to let it unroll a little bit or keep it as is. So you just need to hold it for a few seconds and then it'll dry in place and then you'll get something like this. So with the flower template, you can change the size and the paper and just make it look really, really different even though um, it's the same template. All right, so here we go. So these two are the same and you can see, it's just pretty. It, I mean, I don't, can't really think of any flower that looks exactly like this, but it just adds a little bit to the different shapes that you have. So I'm gonna move this aside. We've got the spiral one down. It's, it's one of my favorites. All right, let's do this one. When you see a shape like this, 
for me, I don't like, this is my least favorite. And I might even go as far as saying I don't really like it. This is what it comes out to be. Um, I don't like it because it's really stiff and there's no room for um, curling the petals. And so it just looks really stiff to me. But what's nice is when they're small, they're great filler flowers. So they kind of tuck in um, and have their own purpose. <laughs> All right, so let's get started on this one. I'm gonna stick this in and roll towards me. And I'm just keeping my thumb there for the pressure and sort of just making it, um, you know, curl up a little bit, a little bit easier to roll. Now, sometimes this will get out of control. You'll see in a little bit when I get further. Um, it really just doesn't matter. It doesn't look great as it's rolling. You can see that. It's kind of squarish and stiff. But again, this will serve its purpose and it will fill up and it will make your, um, your project look really good. And plus the colors are so good. All right, so I'm here, I'm at the end. I'm just gonna hold down a little bit here, pull this out. And now I'm gonna apply a little bit of glue on the actual flower and then a little bit on the circle. So here's our flower. Um, here's the other one. Right, but now like together, they look really good. All right, let's do this one. This is one of my favorites. So this flower is this one. You can see the petals are a little bit different. It has a little bit more shape. This one, we're actually gonna curl the petals. So you can see it opens up and it just looks like a real flower to me. <laughs> All right, so same thing. Start from the outside, stick it in, and I'm saving the best flower for last, which is this one. So that's this template here. Okay, so I'm gonna move this out, roll it towards me. Now, we're gonna be curling the petals. Um, I am gonna use a few different tools to show you, to give you options, but some household tools that you can use. Um, I've seen people curl it. This one's gonna be difficult because it's a little bit on the small side, but I've seen people curl big flowers just using the edge of the table. So it just needs like a flat surface to roll against. All right, so now I'm done, right? But this one, I like to let go a little bit. So it's really small, you can see that right now. I'm gonna just hold my thumb up, but let it unravel a little bit, and you see how it's going? Okay. So now that I have it at the right size that I want, I'm gonna give a little bit of glue on the inside and then on the circle, and then press down. So my favorite tools, because I thought I was gonna be into flowers a lot, which it may look like it because I did the Frida uh, one with almost 50 flowers in her hair. But um, I just do a lot of paper projects. However, I have this tool. So this is just, it just fits in my hand. But see, this straight edge could be anything. It could be the edge of your desk. It could be a spoon. It could be this um, scraper tool from Cricut. So if you have a cutting machine, I'm sure you have this a similar tool. Anything with a um, strong enough edge that you can just, bend against, bend the flower, I mean the paper. So for me, this is just easier for me to hold, but you can see I'm taking the tool, putting it against the paper, and then just using my thumb also on top of the paper, but see how it curls out? And it doesn't leave creases in your paper. The other thing is if you find that your paper is a little bit difficult to work with, um, because I already have my heat tool out, you can use that. The paper, when you apply a little bit of heat, it's just more pliable. So it gives you, but see how it opened up so easily? I just love this flower. Um, so you can use this, you can use this. This one's a little bit big for this flower which is why I like that tool. But you can also use, everyone has this, right? <laughs> this spoon. Spoon, butter knife, and look at that flower. It's now completely open. Just love it. All right, so now to our favorite flower. 
or my favorite, which will soon be yours. <laughs> this one, you can see it's a little bit different because it's almost like it has the, the spiral to hold all the petals, but the petals kind of stand out a little bit, right? They have a little bit more definition. Um, it cuts down a little bit more, so it just gives you that more developed look. Okay, so but same thing. We start out by rolling this. I'm just gonna roll it in and I'm pressing down because it's a little awkward. It doesn't wanna bend right now, but just keep going, fight through it. <laughs> and we're gonna roll. Okay, I'm almost to the end. All right. And I'm gonna let it just unroll a little bit. Okay. And then apply my glue to the center and the circle. And then I'm gonna hold it down. So you can see right now, look at the difference between the two flowers. I don't wanna let go completely yet, but even the center, the center can be a little bit stiff, right? Because look at your flowers, you don't have it. But these petals right here will curl out so it'll start to add to the look, but look at the difference between the two. So isn't it amazing that it starts out like this and it ends up like this. So with this one, um, let's leave that there for now. It comes with extra petals in two sizes. This one is a smaller one, this one's a bigger one. And you can see they're heart shaped, so you're gonna find very similar templates. You don't need this exact one. But anytime that you see one where it has a little slit right here, what you wanna do is you wanna put a little bit of glue down that line just a little bit and it the slit is so that if you can lift it up and push it in and what that does is it makes the petal now stand up right instead of it being a flat petal it now has a lot of shape to it it's sitting sitting up and which will curl out the petals and it'll give you this look and it'll give you a full bloom flower so it doesn't oh. <laughs> glued it to my finger it doesn't take long for it to dry obviously so let's do let's finish this out and i should have glued a lot of these beforehand and just saved a few for us <laughs> but now you can catch up you're watching this and you can catch up all right so here we go and it doesn't matter how much you're folding in I mean, the great thing about rolled flowers is, you know, each flower is different, right? Um, you have it in different, in the different times of bloom. So you can have one that's super open, one that's not as open, and one that's like um, partially rolled out. Um, you, I mean, flowers are just amazing that they can be so different and still so beautiful and they look great in a bunch, so it doesn't matter. So you can see I'm not really thinking about where I'm gluing it, I'm just gluing it together. And we only have a few more petals left. So it, the other way to get a different look with the flowers too is I don't always use all the petals. So it's up to you, like some flowers are gonna be more full. I love it when the glue strings catch on. Um, so some are gonna be more full, some will be less, and that will just give you a very um, realistic look where they're not all the same. I keep saying I like that, um, I don't know, deep down it's just because I don't want to make, have to be so perfect and this gives me room for, for a little bit of error. <laughs> Alright, last petal and then the best part is the rolling part. I, lo I love adding them and curling out the petals. Okay, so here we go. This one's going to dry in a second. Alright. So with this one, I'm gonna use my tool again and I'm gonna start curling just the outer petals. I mean, look at how curled that can be. 
I just love it. Now I've seen people curl one um, one side out this way and then the other one in. It's just whatever look you're going for and whatever you like. So I pulled it out quite a bit. And I'm gonna go to the inside a little bit because I can reach it easily. So on this one, if I was doing a huge display, like maybe for Frida, you can see I can stop here. I don't need to add any petals. This is quite a beautiful flower by itself. But when you start adding, you're going to add the smaller ones first. So I'm going to move aside the big ones. You have four small ones. So where I want to add them is in between the petals. So you see these two right here? I'm going to add one right here. The way you add it is if there's no room left on the circle, like this one has no room, I'm gonna add the glue to the back of the circle. So on top of the circle here, and then I'm just gonna add my petal. And this first one is gonna look weird because this one just disappeared and I forgot. I should have curled it beforehand, but I can curl it now. So you can see just a little bit of it poking through. It doesn't matter. We're gonna be adding it here in between the, each two petals and that's gonna give it a fuller look and then we're gonna add the big petals. But before I forget, because I forgot the first time, let's curl all our petals first. Once we curl it here, obviously it's easier to curl it when it's by itself. Um, but once you then glue it on, you still have the flexibility of changing the way the petals look as I did right now <laughs> after I glued it I realized I wanted to, to curl it okay so here are the small ones let's do the big ones now the envelope that I used is also from this same collection of papers so I just pulled a lot of yellow pinks and greens because it just feels like time to celebrate spring. Um, but you can use any color, however you wanna do it. You can use a pre-made envelope. Um, I have a Cricut, so I just pulled up a template for the envelope. You can, my daughter has one of those We Are Memory Keepers where you can just slice it up. And she's six, so I'm hoping to start her young with crafting. But you know, there's so many different ways to make envelopes. You just have a template or like I said, a pre-made one. So I just wanted to use this color just because I loved it. Okay, so on this one, we added this one here. So I'm just going to go around and add the next one. The easiest way to make sure that you're even though is if you added it here, go the opposite corner. So I'm gonna do what I recommend. <laughs> You can barely see that new petal. Then I'm gonna turn it this way and add this one right here. And you can see I'm adding it blindly, right? I put it on and then I flipped it over to see what it looks like. Um, one more. And it should go over here, but it feels like it's already complete. And you still have a few seconds to edit and make some movement before that glue dries. So, all right, so here we are. This to me is already, again, a beautiful flower before adding the bigger petals. So again, if you're doing a lot of these, I would stop in certain areas just so that you have a very different look. Um, okay. Now we're adding the big petals, same thing. So I'm gonna just start here. And you can see, and I'll show you what it looks like from behind. And obviously back here, no one's gonna see it because we're gonna be gluing it onto the envelope. 
So that's why I haven't been careful with how I've been gluing it. <laughs> We have just three petals left. I'm gonna add this one. After I add this one though, I'm gonna let it dry. Um, I don't have enough glue. And then I wanna flip it over just to do a pulse check on how my flower looks. It's just one of my favorite templates. Um, okay, it's not dry yet. It looks pretty good. It looks very round. Um, I think I wanna add one more right here. I have two petals left, so still have room. And now it feels lopsided. It definitely needs another petal on this side. Don't mind me, I just got glue on myself. <laughs> okay, and one more right here, I think. Maybe right here. Okay, so keep in mind, I don't want the flower too perfect, and it doesn't have to be even because we're gonna be adding other flowers onto the envelope. So you can see I left a little bit of a gap right here. Okay. So I'm gonna let this dry. We have one more flower left that we could roll. It's my, it's not my favorite, so I'm not gonna roll it. I'm gonna roll this one, one more, just to give us a little flexibility when we're putting the, the envelope together. So I'm just rolling in. And I do, I like this spiral one. I really didn't think I would because it's so simple. It doesn't really look like any flower that I know of. <laughs> but it, you know, it has that unique shape. And other than this time, I usually don't have a hard time rolling it. It's because I'm talking at the same time. <laughs> Okay, so now we're done. Let's look at this envelope. I'm gonna use, so with embossing powder, it comes with two ways that you can use it. You can use it as like a stamp, like a, you would a stamp. It has its own stamp pad. Um, this is the ink that you need to use with it. If you don't use, sorry, let me get it out of the way. If you don't use the stamp pad, they come with pens. So you can write with it, draw with it, and then pour the powder on top. So I'm gonna be using both because as you can see here, I wrote the word high. I did two, two, two stamps. I did leaves with a butterfly. So I used the same leaf stamp and just moved it around. As I'm sure that's a trick that you guys use all the time. Okay, so we have all our flowers. We're not gonna use all of them, but so on this one, what I like to do is because I like to save my powder, I always have it underneath um, with a plate. Um, but before you do that, what you wanna do is you wanna stamp down your pieces. So I'm going to use the leaves and I'm just gonna do this corner, very similar to this one. I'm gonna do just, just one corner and then um, maybe up here, so I'll leave this space open so that we could address the envelope. Okay, so let's do this. And you can stamp the whole thing down before you do any of the powder. So I'm gonna do it here. 
I'll just do a little bit. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. With the powder, you want to just get the static out of the way. This is just, it's like, um, almost like baby powder. So that way it only sticks to the ink parts. I, let's see. And then I want to do a little bit going up. All right. So I'm going to put that aside. Let's do our stamping, our powder. And it comes in all colors. I can't even tell you how many vials I have. So just pour it on. So I missed some spots. You can either go back and pour it down. And it may be that I didn't ink it well enough. So there's also that. But look, at, I mean, it's really pretty here, but you can see the difference with when it gets the heat, it melts, and then you have that little metallic foil look. Okay. All right, so then with this, take another plate, open it back up, and pour it in. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the, the heat. So it's gonna be a little bit noisy, so bear with me. But here's the tool, turn it on. So now it has that metallic look to it. I love it. Okay, so that's down. You can, again, you can write with it um, and do a different color. I brought some other powders so that you can see. This has, you know, it's more purple. It's the butterfly. And then this one is just, you're gonna just see like a sheen to it. And then this one is more pinkish, which I use for the word high. Okay, so then let's put this on. Let's see. Maybe something like this. It's not pretty. Okay. So let's get this down and then let's put down the bigger one first. Grab another glue stick. Okay, so that one's down. And then one more flower. And I have a present. So 
So you can address it, stick it in, and it becomes just such a beautifully wrapped gift. All right, I hope that was wonderful for you as it was for me. I will see you guys next time. Bye.